Hi everyone, um, my name is Caroline and I'm a 45-year-old mom. I decided to start a video journal, I guess, of just what I've been through in the past year. Um, you know, I'm not really, you know, obviously my I have an old laptop, I don't have like all the production quality, but it's kind of not about that for me. It's about, you know, giving my friends and family and anybody else who's interested kind of an insight into what's been going on. I live in Ohio and everyone I know basically is back in um, California. That's where I was born and raised. So I'll just be doing, you know, various videos about what I'm going through. Um, I may upload more than once in a day. Uh, I may, I'm probably not going to upload every day because I'm probably not going to make videos every day. They're going to keep them about 15 minutes. I think that's a good, you know, a good length of time, I guess you can say. So a little bit about me, I'm 45, I have three kids, um, age 24, 15, and 6. My 15-year-old daughter actually lives in Maryland um, with her husband. My 15-year-old son and 6-year-old daughter live here with me. I basically stay home and take care of them while my husband works. I am also looking to work from home. Um, I'm looking to raise some money to get stenography equipment so I can work from home. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know what that is, you know, like court reporters, you know how they sit in the um, uh, in the courtroom and they type while everybody's talking. That's what stenography is, shorthand. So I would like to start doing that from home. I can do transcription. I can do closed captioning. Next year, we plan to move to Las Vegas. You know, I'm thinking maybe I can get a job in the court there as a reporter um, and then use this time to get all my certifications and stuff. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. I was I was planning on doing a sewing business. Um, I love to sew, crochet, knit, all that stuff, but I haven't been doing too good. Um, actually, for the last year, I've been really sick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I, when I talked to my doctor, he said sometimes stress can bring on permanent medical conditions. And yeah, last September, I was very stressed out, like super stressed out because our living situation wasn't good. And I basically, over a couple of days, just went from being able to eat normally, normal portions to barely anything. Um, it's kind of like uh, you compare a Big Mac to a cheeseburger. From McDonald's. That's where my appetite went and it went from being able to eat a whole Big Mac to eating two or three bites of a cheeseburger and suddenly being full. Um, I would get full, bloated, nauseous. Um, I was vomiting several times a day and I would just get tired and my weight just dropped. I lost probably in the last year about 50 pounds since September because everyone's like oh you just got to eat healthy you just got to eat healthy and I'm like um yeah I know I know how to eat healthy because before this I was actually on a weight loss journey um to <coughs> to um lose like 
I wanted to lose, at the time, I wanted to lose, like, about 100 pounds. Um, and then I wanted to train for my first fitness competition, just for myself, just because I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. But over these last 11 months, you know, the weight's just been falling off. And I've been eating whatever I can eat because I, I don't eat enough food. So I take what I can get. Um, lately, I've been living on chamomile tea, water, um, applesauce, mashed potatoes, um, rice. What else? Um, small things like that. You know, a few bites. I'm full. So I stop. I eat maybe twice a day. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I was looking up like how much an average person eats a day, and it's like three to four pounds of food a day, which is four, fifth, let's say fifty to sixty-five ounces of food a day. Average person. I'm eating less than ten ounces a day, not because I choose to, because I definitely don't choose to. I cannot, like, literally, I cannot eat more than that. Um, I do whatever I can do. It's the nausea that is the most horrible thing. Um, it just ruins your day, you know? Um, I kind of found a way to combat it um, a couple ways. And so... Uh, one way I found is, and I knew it wasn't the healthiest way, or it isn't the healthiest way to do it, um, clear vodka or clear rum. Um, I usually take maybe an ounce, two ounces at a time with some juice, and it numbs my stomach. Like, it takes away my nausea, numbs my stomach, and I can eat. You know? I can eat. I, I can't eat more. But I, I can eat and I don't get sick and I don't get bloated. And I'm like, oh, you know, whatever I can do to get rid of the nausea and, and eat. But um, in June, this past June, I finally got health care. So I went from September to June with this thing untreated and me just doing what I could do to get through the day. Um, but finally, last June, we got our health care um, three weeks, four weeks ago. Four weeks ago, I found a doctor, um, and it was hard finding a doctor because I live in Reynoldsburg, and <laughs> this isn't, you know, I'm used to California. I've been here three years, and I'm just like, Ohio's still growing on me, but it's harder to find certain things. In California, I had Kaiser. Loved it. Here, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to go. But anyway, I digress. Um, I found a doctor. And, sorry, hiccups. I went to a doctor. And, you know, did the blood work, everything. You know, he said, come back in two weeks. All right. About a week, about a half a week in to the two weeks. Um, <coughs> all right. About half a week in, um, I got worse. Like, I couldn't eat, like, solid food. Like, I was, like, baby food. I went from eating very little solid food to, ba to like, not baby food, but, like, baby food consistency, applesauce, mashed potatoes, um, pureed stuff. I went and bought soups. I pureed my soup. I puree my canned fruit um, because my stomach couldn't take it. And it was like that for a week and a half. Like my stomach couldn't take it. And um, so two weeks later, I went back to the doctor and um, I saw his, um, I guess it was his assistant, physician's assistant, I think. And 
he asked me a bunch of the same questions, um, and I told him I had pain, like where my liver was and where my uh, pancreas was, and he brought in a specialist to check my abdomen, and so they said, well, um, it sounds like you have a fatty liver, um, it's inflamed, uh, we could be looking at early onset liver failure, um, and uh, we have to check your pancreas because um, it your pancreas can get like inflamed also from um, alcohol. He's like, do you drink a lot? I'm like, no. But between 1997 and 2017, I did. I was a heavy drinker. I used it to self medicate. It was really bad. And then after 2017, it went down a lot. And I actually haven't been. I haven't drank a lot since for a year, for a year now. So my consumption has gone way down. But obviously, um, this was Monday. This past Monday is when I went in to give blood for them to check my liver lipase levels. And if it turns out that is what it is, then obviously I have to not use alcohol anymore to I guess in a way I'm still self-medicating because it's, I'm using it to take away my nausea and, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> my nausea and my, um, <clears throat> the stuff, right? But, so I kind of am like, I better get, figure out what else can I use? And I did, um, Warm chamomile tea with honey. First thing in the morning. And it will reduce my nausea. A lot. Like, And I, it'll make my tummy warm. And I'll feel it rumbling. Like it's moving. Because um, initially I thought what I had was gastroparesis. Which is, um, it's a rare condition that... Women, mostly women get, I was reading. Um, I did a lot of research on it. And typically it's in women who have hypothyroid disease. I have Hashimoto's, which is one step below hypothyroid. Um, and GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is what I have. I've had for a while. Um and what happens is the main nerve to your stomach called the vagus nerve um, gets damaged. And the gastroparesis basically translates into partial paralysis of the stomach. And all the symptoms I have are the symptoms that um, are part of it. So I was like, well, I know that's what I thought I had. So I, I think what they're going to do is tackle the liver issue first and then see if I have that, if that clears it up. Um, but I guess we'll see because I know for sure I'm malnourished for sure. Um, I get dehydrated really, really easily. Um, and I'm tired by two o'clock. I'm exhausted. I want to sleep, but I can't. I have two kids here. Homeschool them. And then plus, you know, everything else that comes, home, comes along with being a stay-at-home mom. Plus, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to raise money for my set of equipment. So once I get that, I'm going to be working. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Uh, so it looks like it's coming up on the 15 minute mark. Um, I'm going to do another video after this. And I'll upload them both today after I'm done. But um, thanks for listening and thanks for hanging around. And hopefully you stick with me um, through this. And uh, I'll see you next video. Bye.